Um, I'm Jacinta Pleasant, principal of Radcliffe Elementary School. And today we had our April PBIS celebration where our students had an opportunity to choose an activity, a fun activity of their liking, um, bracelet making, puzzles, um, games, movies, and popcorn. Uh, so there was a wide variety of things that they could do and students had choice. Um, positive behavior incentive a system allows us to focus on positive behavior. So this is why we um, do this each month. In the month of April, each student had to earn 120 points to receive this opportunity today. Um, it really encourages students to follow our four P's here at Radcliffe Elementary School. The four P's at Radcliffe stand for prompt, polite, prepared, and productive. So we really focus on those four P's for our uh, PBIS celebration. We are doing gold noodles. And what is it? It's a it's where our teachers put on a video and we dance to the video. Okay. Is that fun? Really fun. This is the fun. Uh, it's stuck in my head now. Guess there's only one way to fix this. We should bust a move to break free from Kids Box 27. Let's do it. We're building a box. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you doing this? Because we do this and then we, um, what? No, don't. Just we start. learn and we, um, big behaviors. Well, we're drawing a hamster, mm -hmm. and we are looking at our own, too. Mm -hmm. We draw cherry ham. Okay. And then Miss Sketch lets us draw our own picture. So is this a drawing club or an art club? Uh-huh. So we're making baby chicks uh -huh. with um uh, with these a uh, yellow yeah yellow holes. So what you what did you do with the yellow circles? You had to cut them, cut them out. Yeah, we cut them out and then we cut the edges. Yeah. And then we bented them as uh, their feathers. Okay. And the triangles for their beaks. Welcome to Radcliffe Elementary School. I'm Jacinta Pleasant, the principal, and tonight is our K-Prep Family Night. So we have some fun activities for our parents. So the purpose of the night is for our parents to encourage our children, uh, their, their children, our students, for the upcoming K-Prep test, which is the week of May 13th through the 17th. So we have three stations tonight. We have letter writing, poster making, and rock painting. And then once the parents have gone through those three stations, then we have a fabulous dinner plan for the parents and the children that are here tonight. So the goal for tonight is to create motivational sayings, posters, to encourage our students to do their very best on the K-PREP test.
I want to thank you guys obviously for coming. Um, we were joking we expected a little bit more but thank you all for coming. Um, we definitely appreciate it. Um, so this is our K prep kickoff night for parents just to kind of give you guys some information. I know a lot of you have third graders that are here and some of you have fourth and fifth graders so you've been through it before um, but those of you that have third graders this is kind of your first little test with it. Um, so K-PREP is a standardized test that essentially measures what your students have been learning um, throughout the year and it is given by the state of Kentucky and it's based on the academic standard. So you see our breakdown here, third grade has the smallest section that they are testing and then fifth grade has a whole bunch that they will see. Um, so everybody sees reading and math from third, fourth, and fifth grade. Um, fourth grade adds in science, fifth grade gets social studies, and then on-demand writing as well as the reading and the math on that one. Um, so our test preparation, a little bit of stuff for you guys. Um, it is the 13th through the 17th, and I'll show you guys schedules for each individual grade level here in a minute, but it will be the 13th through the 17th, and every morning it will start at 8.30. So if you can, please don't take any trips, don't schedule any doctor's appointments, make sure they're getting a good night's sleep, make sure they're eating breakfast, um, talk to them about doing their best, but don't overstress them out. I think that's the biggest thing. A lot of our kids are stressed out about it anyway, um, but just try to encourage them, but don't over enforce it. Um, and then make sure they're getting a good night's rest, make sure they're eating breakfast, either at home or here, because we do have free breakfast, but make sure they're like, hey, go get your breakfast, go get your pop tart, whatever it is, make sure they have some energy um, to go. And then just make sure you support your child and encourage them every day. Like, hey, I know you're gonna be testing all day long, it's gonna be really tough, but just go in, do your best, work as hard as you can. And as long as they're hearing that encouragement from you all and they're hearing that encouragement from us, we think that we'll see some positive results for them. So here are your schedules. So for third grade, um, it's kind of, those are a lot shorter because again, they have a much smaller testing window uh, or a much smaller testing area. They just have the math and the reading. Um, so it all, it's, they'll do the reading first. Um, they are taking one test a day and then they'll do the math. And then Friday, they actually don't have to test. Um, whereas fourth and fifth grade will test all week. Um, so on fourth grade they'll do the reading the first two days, then they'll do the math the second two days, and then science will be the last day. And then fifth grade, this is the one that's really really hairy for those of you with fifth grade students. They do reading the first two days, they do math the third day, and then they will do social studies on Thursday, and then on Friday they do two writing pieces which are the on-demands. So Friday is their longest day. It's the most stressful day for them because it is a lot of writing. Um, and it is at the very end of the week, so a lot of extra encouragement for those of you with fifth graders on Friday. Like, hey, just do your best. We know it's a lot. Take your breaks when you need them, but make sure you're pre-writing. Make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do on those. And then, this is what the really fun part of tonight is, is a little bit of encouragement for your students. We actually have three different stations that are set up. Um, the first station, which is right out here in the gym lobby, is a rock painting station. Um, those rocks will actually go back out in our courtyard and we will take the students through so they can see the encouragement that you guys paint on the rocks for them. We'll kind of parade them through the courtyard so they can see that. Um, the second station is in Miss Rose's room, which is a, a letter. And so what we'll do is we'll put those in the envelope and then we'll give those to your student on Monday when testing starts. Um, and then that way they can kind of look and see, oh, okay, my parents really want me to do the best I can do on this. Um, and then the third station is making a poster, which is actually in the art room. So it's all right out here in this area. And that poster is just kind of, again, the same thing. Just a little extra encouragement for them. Um, parents, guardians want me to do really well and we're going to actually hang those up in the hallway when they're getting ready to go into their testing rooms. So unless you all have any questions for me, I'm going to set you guys free and let you go out here and you can choose which station you want to go to. Um, and then once you finish up, we have plenty of spaghetti in the cafeteria for you guys to enjoy.
thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, I just ask that you continue to encourage your child. And remember, K-Prep testing is May 13th through the 17th. And thanks for your support.